Well, hello everyone. I'm Lindsley and this is Kitchen in the Pink. And it's dessert time. Oh yes it is. I love dessert. I've said it before and I'll say it again. And for all of you who don't eat dessert, well, I can't help it that you're big poopy heads. I can't help that. <laughs> We're gonna make a version of a cheesecake. I love cheesecake. It's delicious. It's uh, I make it with a lot of lemon. And this is kind of a smaller cheesecake version that's fun for summer and I call it a cheesecake terrine. So what we're gonna do is start with our cheesecake base. I've got my handy dandy mixer here and we're going to take one and a half cups of mascarpone cheese, which is very thick and delicious. Put that in our pan, to plop. Then I'm gonna put in a cup of heavy cream. Actually, I'm just, yeah, have a cup of that, all right. Lovely. And then we're gonna put in um, a whole package, one package of Philly cream cheese. Can't have cheesecake without cream cheese. This is such an easy, easy dessert. It looks really pretty. And um, it's kind of just a play off of your basic cheesecake. So that goes in, okay. And I'm going to mix it up. You don't want to over mix this, you just want to blend it till everything is incorporated. Okay, there. Now take this down and I'm going to take this off. Scrape off our little, all our good stuff here. And it is going to be thick, that's okay. Don't worry about that. Because you want it to be thick so it can be spread in the terrain easily. Okay. Ugh, try to get as, I can't stand when stuff stays on my beaters. I feel like it's like totally wasted stuff, but we're gonna do it. All right, so we've got our mixture. And then to add to it, we want to just fold in a half a cup, a fourth a cup, sorry, of orange, uh, lemon marmalade. Sorry, we're not doing oranges, we're doing lemon. Actually, you could do orange, citrus, hello. I love this, um, Meyer Lemon Marmalade from McAvoy Ranch. It's a California ranch, you can buy it online. It is so amazing. They ran out of it last year and I literally like almost had like a heart attack. I, I like started to get like anxiety. So I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of that. Ooh, it's good. Smell the lemon from here. So a fourth a cup of that. And then I'm gonna also add in the zest of one lemon plus one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. That gets put in there. And one pinch of salt. Put that in. Just a pinch. Kicks up the flavor a little bit. Now you wanna mix this well and fold it all in so it's all incorporated together. Oh yeah. A little arm work, never hurt anybody. All right, now once it's all incorporated, you want to start placing it in your terrine. So what I have is a loaf pan. This is basically just like a bread loaf pan. And I put Reynolds wrap in it, nice and steady, so that uh, you can put the terrine in there. And then when it's um, done and firm, you can just lift up your Reynolds wrap and it will come out. So I am going to put a layer of this nice, thick, delicious, stuff in the bottom. I like to use a spreader. It's really like a cake frosting spreader, but I think it works really well. So I'm going to put in a big glop like that. I'm going to spread that all in there flat in my terrine bottom. Okay. Nice. And I don't know about you, but I find this stuff really fun, so I enjoy it. I enjoy spreading stuff. I'm gonna put in a tiny bit more. Let's get this corner here. Perfect. Okay. You wanna make sure that your base is relatively thick because when you pull it out, you're gonna turn it over and that's gonna become your top of your um, terrine. So you wanna make sure you do have enough in there as a base. Okay, just like that. Now, I like to put fresh fruit in my cheesecake. You don't have to, but I think it's nice. It's a nice element and it brings a little more sweetness to it. 
So I've got um, raspberries and I'm just going to put a layer, just a sprinkling, it doesn't have to be perfect, just a nice sprinkling of raspberries and then I press them in lightly into the cheese mixture so that they stick. Okay. Right. Just like so. Lovely. Now I'm going to take, wash my hands. I'm going to take uh, lemon cookies. And I just got these basic lemon snaps from one of my favorite stores, Sprouts. Great stuff. And you're going to press in a layer of cookies. And what's going to happen is, is that the cheese mixture is going to make these a little soft so that when you eat it, it's almost like a softer cookie. It's not really a hard cookie. So you press those in there and press them firmly so that they stay and that they adhere to your cheese and raspberry concoction here. Okay, now that I've done that, now we'll just basically repeat the layers. So do another layer of cheese mixture. Oh yeah. We're gonna finish with our last layer of marscapone. Cheese mixture. Delicious. I am making a mess again. I said it before, I'm a very messy cook. But you know what? I don't care. It's creativity, right? Jackson Pollock probably get paint all over himself. And I'm gonna get food and stuff all over me. <coughs> That's okay. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay. Layer this. So smooth and creamy already and I just think it's going to be something magical truly magical all right it's even going over the pan I've got so much cheese mixture there you have it voila now I'm just gonna cover this up with plastic wrap and it's just gonna go right into the fridge um, for eight hours or even overnight is great is a little messy because remember that's going to become your bottom of your terrine so look how cute it is so compact and nice into your fridge now in eight hours I will show you exactly what it's going to look like hello hello this is Lindsley and kitchen in the pink I really hope you enjoyed this last series of recipes. We made the gazpacho, which was absolutely delicious. My husband already ate it all. <laughs> and we made baked beans, which is perfect for summer. It's such a great accompaniment for ribs or any kind of meat dish. And we made our cheesecake terrine, which is beautiful. And my guests used the word amazing. So I'm happy with that. Got a little piece right here. I'm gonna take a little bite. Creamy, lemony, zesty. You didn't have to bake it. So easy. So I hope you enjoy these recipes. If you'd like the recipe, go to ladiesinthepink.com. And to give you a little added bonus, we're going to talk about some of my favorite things. These are coconut milk little uh, ice cream yummy bars. They are amazing. My husband and I are literally obsessed with them we have one every single night because they're minis it's not so bad it's a little snack they're dairy free absolutely delicious so check them out love them also new gadget <gasps> what is it a catcher's mitt no oh it's like Hannibal Lecter um this is an avocado slicer William Sonoma I was very skeptical the lady was like yes it works amazing this thing is makes it so much easier and here in california we eat a million avocados year round it's summer avocados are great so check this little thing out lastly i am a tea fanatic i didn't used to be but i totally don't do coffee anymore i'm obsessed with tea 
This is an amazing tea, Earl Grey Lavender Tea. Doesn't that sound amazing? I discovered this little place out in the middle of nowhere. Or where was I? I don't even remember where it was. But it's a little farm called 123 Farm Organics. You can buy it online, 123 Farm Organics. Check it out. Absolutely delicious, amazing. They have lavender farms um, all over the place, lavender fields, and it's, it's so good. So check it out, my latest obsessions. Thank you so much. Pink Appetit.